1978, American Gary Turk sent the world's very first spam email. He circulated 600 copies of an email advertising a new computer. And his idea was a smashing success. He eventually took in $12 million with his PC. Since then, the volume of spam has soared. Now, an estimated 100 billion items are sent every day. The favorites advertise online gambling, cigarettes and medications, especially popular prescription-free potency pills. You have to remember that many people are still new to the Internet. They're not familiar with spam, so to them all of these old tricks are still totally new. Spam is short for spiced ham, a popular canned meat in the US. Its low price made it a sales hit, even though few people would actually say they liked consuming it. And certainly few people would say they like the email spam that fills their inboxes. These days, special filters are used to detect spam and send it straight to the trash bin. The filters search for keywords like sexual potency. That has triggered a kind of spammer's arms race. The people who send the mails are constantly stepping up their efforts to disguise the content so the spam filters don't recognize them. Spam is annoying, but it can also be inspirational. There are even internet sites that read spam texts with background music. Some of the spammers' texts even circulate as online poetry, spam as an art form. After all, there's certainly no end in sight to it. In the future, there's likely to be even more spam, because it's actually quite effective, and efforts to combat it are not very successful. But perhaps this German rock band has the best answer. Do not reply. Because if no one ever reacted to spam, it would indeed be a thing of the past. Do not reply.